what does collaboration mean or what is it kind of signals for the future of content delivery uh, because we all agree in this age of ai generated content more authentic content video is becoming kind of go-to source for everybody uh, talk a bit about this partnership uh, the future of content delivery and how it might also affect or influence how industry approaches to cloud native video streaming and advertising in the coming years well, i just thought i'll let ari finish so I, i'll i'll stay a higher level not too technical on this one because there is some aspect of the collaboration that uh, for me are, are very exciting both companies when you think of uh, the technology they bring are best in class uh, so you look at uh, Akamai uh, with their CDN and, and cloud technology, you know, that technology and expertise best in class. You look at Harmonic with uh, the video technology and expertise best in class. So when you combine it together, for me, this is very exciting, obviously for us, but also for our customers. But then there's another aspect that you realize when, when you, you, you start looking into the two companies is that we both are very uh, knowledgeable and intimate with our customers. So we know the media and entertainment customers very well. Uh, so when you combine that uh, best in class technology and that intimacy with our customer workflows, for me, it's, uh, it's a collaboration uh, that is really I don't want to say a perfect fit, but it makes a lot of sense to bring those two together. So very exciting about that collaboration, as you can tell. Hari, let's uh, hear from you. Yeah, and Akamai's belief is that, you know, as media streaming evolves and as, as content consumption becomes a lot more um, seamless across devices and across different um, connected infrastructure, that our customers are going to expect a partner that is going to be able to provide them with a resource where they can build, secure, and scale their streams and their advertising components. And because there's so much compute that is inherent in how do we combine content you know, with, a, with a message, with an offer, and insert it as an ad in real time, how do we put that into a stream at exactly the right time? How do we consider you know, the right way to divide a stream up into its component pieces and to deliver that to, to customers that have varying device capabilities, varying network speeds, varying network co uh, connectivity, that we're going to need the ability to take content and hold it on the distributed network in a way that isn't going to be constantly taxing the media provider with maintaining that content, with accessing that content. The ability to then uh, manipulate that content into packaged streams, packaged videos, uh, to the point of Jean's prior answer, as we see people applying Gen AI, they're also automatically creating clips and social streams and outtakes and short form videos. And we want to enable all of that to happen in real time and seamlessly on that same platform so that the operations are simpler, so that customers can get familiar with a cloud platform. And, and from our perspective, really leaning on open source and a variety of partners, they can choose the best option for their skill set, for the way that they monetize, for the, the type of content that they're looking to package into a stream, and then ultimately including the intelligent security capabilities that don't require you to build out all of the policies and to be a, a security expert on top of being a media delivery expert, but we want to find and surface intelligence for you about the way that users are consuming streams and getting experiences so that we can streamline some of that activity, caching what we can, providing uh, shorter or easier approvals to get access to content when it's warranted. But then when we see bots, either nefarious bots or bots that are looking potentially to scrape content maybe for a generative engine, that we can identify the type of bot it is, that we can apply the right sort of control. It could be a paywall. It could be something where we serve alternate content. It could be something where we block or limit the bot altogether. But we want to have those capabilities available seamlessly for our customers as part of one platform. And we believe that with our origins in content delivery and the fact that we've always enabled our customers to onboard and offboard however they see fit based on their definitions of quality, of security, and of scale, that we make it a destination that developers want to build their next streaming media experiences on, but that enterprises really appreciate the, the performance and cost dynamics from. 
and that unlike the hyperscalers, we're also providing them with additional choice and not locking them into one set of services and one set of providers, but really providing them with that choice and the network to distribute and scale whatever partners they choose to use on globally so that whether it's a small regional event or a long running global event, they can always expect the same level of quality experience and reliability on Akamai.